Watson, appearing for core participants represented by Oliver Fisher. Oliver Fisher in respect of a number of residents of the tower mm -hmm. and the walkway including disabled residents on the newly refurbished first floor of the mm -hmm. tower who will bring a further dimension we believe to the evidence in terms of the concerns over that refurbishment and its relationship to the fire. The advantage of speaking at the end of the day is that you've had the benefit of hearing the submissions made by others. Those comments that we've heard today build on the collaborative approach that there has been between those who act for the core mm. participants and who are survivors of the fire, and we hope to continue that cooperation as matters progress. We welcome the update from Council to the inquiry and the advances which he set out first thing this morning, which address a number of the concerns which we raised in our submissions and that were raised more generally. We agree in broad terms with much of what has been said so far today by Council. But in particular, we wish to associate ourselves with the comments of Mr. Friedman in general and Mr. Weatherby on the specific issue of disclosure. We also expressly agree with the points on experts made by Mr. Thomas and the need for an expert on property maintenance. But for two short points which have been the subject of Mr. Bates' submissions, there would be no need for us to trouble the inquiry with oral submissions at all. Mm -hmm. But we do so to emphasise two, we would say, related points. First, we agree with the submission of Russell Cook, which was alluded to by Mr Mansfield, that there is a need for an assessor with experience of social housing management, in particular tenant participation in housing management. That is essential as it brings a degree of expertise that is currently lacking. The difficulty perhaps here is that housing is something everyone believes themselves to know something about. We all have some involvement with it, but unfortunately we do not. And we, we are concerned that that is overlooked. And in our submission, the evidence is essential, and the assessor is essential, to assist the understanding of the inquiry and to enable you to get to the answers you need to get to. The second issue relates to disclosure. Council to the inquiry asked for clarification as to why disclosure of the housing file is important. And Mr Friedman noted that the housing file will address who was in the property and will assist the tribunal inquiry in that regard. Of course, as Mr Bates pointed out, a housing file is much more than that. Council to the inquiry in opening pointed out in the context of expert reports for phase one, there is a need to understand the fire safety measures and how they performed. Well, the housing file will contain that information. It will provide any complaint made by tenants as to the issues of disrepair and the functioning of fire safety equipment and what steps were taken to address those concerns. And that's important not just in respect of the tower and the dwellings in the tower itself, but also in relation to the walkway where there are some concerns and some issues raised in relation to gas safety issues which it is said by some were ignored, and which you will want to consider when determining the cause of a fire. As noted by many, including Ms Munro today, there are those who believe that the cause of the fire was preventable. The housing file will demonstrate whether there were relevant concerns raised, by whom, and their relevance to the issues raised under phase one. And in that sense, such disclosure is tied to effective participation and openness. We'd therefore respectfully submit that disclosure of the individual housing files is essential, and I agree with Mr Bates that it is inconceivable that it would not be. They are the only two issues on which we wish to make submissions. That's all you'd like to say at this stage? Thank you very much indeed. Now, I had some 